Hello and welcome to PNW Enduro. Today I'm going to be shaving some weight off my 2017 KTM 250 XC by removing this monster skid plate and pipe guard combo and replacing it with a more traditional skid plate and separate carbon fiber pipe guard. So this is the slip liner that goes on underneath the guard. Right back here is the extra part that protects your linkage. And my last ride I ended up tearing this thing right off. So it's part of the reason I'm going to try a different guard. I would have been able to reattach the liner, but that would mean removing the skid plate again and attaching the liner and then reinstalling. I had already removed the Emperor skid plate a couple times to tighten the front bracket that had come loose. So after having to remove it the third time, I decided it's time to try something different. On the scale, I have the new skid plate by AXP Racing and also the carbon fiber pipe guard by P3. The total weight for both is 3.57 pounds. So let's compare that to the Emperor product I was using before. In comparison, the Emperor skid plate and pipe guard combo is weighing in at just under 8 pounds. So the new setup is a weight savings of about 4.5 pounds. So here is a look at the AXP racing skid plate and the P3 carbon fiber guard installed. It's going to be the first time I've used a plastic skid plate so I'll have to see how that works out. I'm going to test it out and I'll probably do another video reporting back on how this thing actually works. Um, looking at it here, one thing that's a big miss with the design of this and hopefully maybe uh, AXP will notice this and change it but your power valve spring is right behind there. I think they should cut out a little section right here. I'll probably do that myself so you can access and change your power valve or adjust it. I really don't adjust mine very often, but for people that do, that's going to be a hassle to take the skid plate off to access that. So there's a look at the skid plate and the linkage guard, which is part of the skid plate. I want to hear from you guys. Leave it down in the comments. What skid plate are you running and would you consider running a plastic skid plate on your bike?